Understanding asset classes. Okay, so you're ready to begin investing because you've got all this money and want to make it grow. So where do you begin? Well, first you should have a pretty good idea of your investment objective and then try to figure out how long you want to invest it for and what level of risk you're willing to take with your money. You've also got to figure out where you're going to invest. So, if you don't understand the advantages and shortcomings of the various asset classes at your disposal before you begin investing, you may not make the best investment decisions that are in line with your objective. So what is an asset class? Think of the gadgets you use in your daily life. You have your mobile phone and your landline, your computer, a television, a radio, a camera, a microwave. There's all kinds. And the more you look, the more there are. MP3 players, speakers, video games, refrigerators. It's a large variety. Now, there's probably a lot of these that have some similar characteristics. You could use your mobile phone or your landline to make a phone call. You could use your MP3 player, computer, TV or radio to play music. But as individual gadgets, they're all quite unique. An asset class is quite similar. It is a group of investment options that exhibit similar characteristics. Of course, in some cases, specific characteristics may overlap. But in the sum total of its characteristics, each asset class is unique. Meaning, no asset class can be a perfect substitute for another. Think about mm. it. A radio can't be a perfect substitute for a TV. Just because they both play music. Where will people watch their favorite TV shows? And asset classes are the building blocks of a good investment strategy. You first decide which asset class to invest in and then you look into the investment options under the asset class chosen. No asset class is stereotypically perfect. Choosing the right one depends on your needs and preferences, not on which one is supposed to be better than the other. Let's look at the pros and cons of some of the key asset classes to help understand them better. If an investor wants to preserve principal or ever needs his money back quickly, then the cash asset class is the safest option. This could be physical currency or cash equivalents like money in a bank savings account which can be withdrawn from an ATM. Cash is important, really. Say you're on the road and your car breaks down. With cash in your pocket or easy access to ATMs, you can get help right away. But when an emergency like this or something even bigger comes by, it's not going to wait for you to gather your resources. At that time, what you need is the power of cash. The only downside to holding on to your cash is that it offers no protection from inflation and the returns over long periods are lower than other asset classes. But hey, that's what the other asset classes are for, right? Fixed income instruments are like bonds which offer steady growth of principal and the returns over longer periods tend to be more than the cash asset class. The flip side, some issuers of these bonds may not pay an investor the interest as committed or even return the money when needed. If an investor opts for bonds that carry lower risk, he may have to settle for lower returns. Another asset class that has the potential to generate superior returns over long periods is easy to liquidate and has the potential to beat inflation is investing in shares of companies or popularly called as equities. But to invest in equities, the expertise needed is far greater than cash or bonds. Equity prices are prone to wide fluctuations, leading to losses if an investor is forced to sell at the wrong time and slumps in the equity market could go on for long. For investors who are looking for physical assets, then real estate is a good option. It offers a great source of psychological comfort and has the potential to generate returns over longer periods. But valuing real estate is hard, requiring expertise to gauge if what investors are buying is value for money. And with the large investment needed, investors end up limiting what they can buy and how much they can diversify their investments. High maintenance and liquidity are other downsides of this asset class. And there are even more asset classes like gold, commodities, collectibles, etc. You see, asset classes are wide and varied and chances are that no single asset class will meet all your requirements. A combination of these instead will cover most of your needs and goals. You can have your mobile phone when you're out, your TV for all your shows, your laptop to work anywhere you want, your refrigerator to store food and a microwave to heat it when you're ready to eat. Once you know about the different asset classes, you can wisely allocate your money in a combination that suits your investment objectives. So choose to grow your money the way you would like to. We hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Watch more and we'll help you learn about different investing concepts. You can also write to us with your feedback at editor templeton.com. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully.